Matrix host, Reese here, and I'm here to proudly present to you our part one of our Father's Day tricks and videos. Here, today I'm going to be showing you eight tricks that you can do on Father's Day. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. For this, I will greet you back in my place, where this will take place. I'll see you right there. Okay, so here is our first trick of the day, and that is a magic sweetheart candy two triple A battery magic trick. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. Oh, Dad, yes, that's a sweet guy. That is why here I got a sweetheart candy right here. How about we can actually change it into a battery? One, can see this? Watch this. And by magic, it changes into a triple A battery. How was this done? I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret in this is very simple. I'm going to teach you how it's done right now. Here are the two things that you'll need to pull this very fun, stunning magic trick off. Look down in my hand. Here's what you'll need. Okay, so the first one is a triple A battery. You can get this in your, uh, a local store where they sell all the batteries. Next, you'll need is um, a sweetheart's a candy that looks just like this. What you want to do is make sure the labels are facing the right way. First, the battery held by your thumb and bracing it with your fingers down below. Take your sweetheart uh, candy, and it too label is facing like this. You can use this for the covering of the battery in behind of it. What you want to do here is going to actually shake it like this. That way, this will allow as it drops to change into a battery that you'll see just right here. Okay, so here, like this. So I'm fast, your dad gets to see this. Go on, on the count of three. One, two, three. And by magic, the Sweet Tarts candy changes into a triple A battery. And that right there is how you do the magic Sweet Tart candy to triple A battery magic trick. Then, now we get to our second trick of the day, and that is, it goes into a lighter, and by magic, having it to change into an eraser. And this one here, what I like to call the Happy Father's Day a lighter to eraser magic trick. Here is what this one will look like. Okay, can you see here? I got my 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 light right here. I can get the light, so I got you can see the light. I can place this in my hand just like this. Watch. And by magic, the lighter changes into an eraser. How is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Here's what you're gonna need to pull this very stunning magic trick. For this, you're going to need is a shell eraser. It comes with an eraser. You're going to take it out, and all you get is this. This here is the console that you'll be looking for, because the reason is you want the second item to be a small lighter, like this. That way, it's easy to fit and easy to hide in the console, like this. This is a hinge that will go in just like this. What you want to do is you're going to keep this palmed like this, making sure that, that this is up, so that way it looks like this. Show the, the lighter, and give it a light. A little shake, make the light, va light, make the light th vanish. Place it into here. You're going to use your pointer like this, so that way it now goes into the console console now is showing like like this away from view so this is facing you 
Like this. And all the dad sees is the eraser. So like this. Okay. So in fast, it'll look, it'll look something like this. And by magic, changing the lighter into an eraser. You can get these things in your local stationery, uh, local stationery store for the shell that comes with an eraser. And any local grocery store is a small lighter where the, li the lighters can be found. But you'll see just right here. So get you can just get these two things. And in it lies a very stunning magic trick. So go have fun with this. Tell me what you think of this trick. Go on what you can do. And pull off for your dad. And that right there is how you do the Happy Father's Day Alighter to Eraser magic trick. Then here you're going to get a fridge dart and one coin and do something very magical with it. We're coming into our third spot, and that is the Father's Day Fridge Dart and Coin Trick. Here is what this one will look like. Okay, so as it is, I got my little fridge dart that you'll see just right here. And I have just a regular coin that you'll see just right here. Now I'm going to just actually just place this dart just like this. Watch. All I gotta do is just tap this, and by magic, it stands up on the coin. How did I do this one? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need are just two simple things for this one. Here you're gonna get yourself is a fridge magnet. It has a magnet on it. It happens to be a dart that you'll see just here. This belongs to a game. A dart game. You can also do this on a freezer. Right there. But in this one, you're going to use is a coin for this one. Now you'll see just right here. Okay, so you're going to get a coin that actually can get picked up by the magnet. And you'll see just right here. So your your dad can take a look at the uh, the uh, fridge chart for inspection and same with the coin. It's okay if it looks like this, because that's okay. Like that. Okay, so you can also play play around with it. But the trick is within your finger, your pointer finger for this one. And that's what we're gonna do right from here is we're gonna actually place the coin here. And put on a dart. What it's gonna do is it's going to touch this part and like that and make the um, dart stand up. Be very light and kind of forceful on the coin at the edge of it. Like that. Cause by your finger and as it greets this with the with the force from your finger hitting onto this, it's gonna allow this fridge dart to jump up just like that so that way it gr it greets and it rises up so it stands up so it goes be very lightly and it ends up doing that makes a very stunning trick that you could do on Father's Day and having your father be very stunned with that one a cool one, because all you need are those two things, a frizz dart, and just a coin that will get attracted to it. And that right there is how you do the Father's Day frizz dart and coin trick. And now, putting us right down to our fourth number of our trick. And here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a glue stick and do something very magical with it. This one here will definitely bring light to your dad's eyes. And it's a trick I like to call the Father's Day Magic Glue Stick 
magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. So here I got my little glue stick here. Watch. Here now I place it in. Oh, look. It magically gives us a Father's Day light show. As it was, my dad always said that I was the light of the family. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret in this is very simple. I'm going to teach you how it's done right now. So how did I get this to do this? I'll show you. Happens to be is an LED light color changer that you'll see just right here. I'll turn this off so I can see what it is without the light flashing. So you guys can take a look at the device that I'm using. Okay, so here is the device that you'll see just right here. What you want to do is it's going to twist the bottom of this. This happens to be a part of the um, water crystals, the ones that, and the one that I've done in my uh, summer tricks videos. So if you haven't watched me yet, now it's time to get yourself onto it so you can see all the great summer stuff in that as well too. For this one here, what you want to do is going to twist this and get the light to turn on. Now you see here, and this little bulb here will start the color show that you'll see just right here. What you want to do is going to do is to actually keep this palmed and hold three nice and tight so that way no light will escape. What you're going to is pass the glue stick around to your dad for inspection. Now why white? Because look when this meets up to here it's going to cast the color into it and flash right, th uh, right th uh, th through the glue stick that you'll see just right here. The hold is like this. So you have this right here into your hand and the glue stick is held with your thumb and braced with your, with your a pointer finger just like this. So once you have this already right, palmed, hold tightly and show the glue stick. Your, your mom can take a look at it too. And then after that, she'll pass it to your dad. They can both take a look at it. Right? What you're gonna do is you're going to now is open your hand in unison of placing the stick in like this. That way, the glue stick magically illuminates and gives off a Father's Day light show from the glue stick that you'll see here. You also give it a twist. While it rotates its colors. You can also turn it up, sideways, do whatever, by just ro uh, rotating your, your fist, your, your wrist, like this, and turning off the wrist. Once this is done, pull this away, and immediately close your fist up, like this. So once you get this done, you can get it go like this. And again, make sure you like this not so. And it ditch this very quickly into your lap. After it's done, pass the glue stick around for further inspection. Makes it very cool corny that you can do and pull off on Father's Day. There? will definitely bring light to his eyes with that one. And right there is how you do the Father's Day magic glue stick magic trick. Hey, you're gonna get a shot glass and one dollar in this one. And it's very magical with it. And coming into our fifth spot is just that. And that is a Father's Day one coin Shark glass magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. 
Okay, I got my one salt glass here. I got one dollar right here. Watch, we'll place this inside here, and I'll show you that there's just one. Like you'll see here, but watch this. And by magic, as I bash this down, it gives me two dollars. From just one salt glass. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret in this is very simple. I'm going to teach you how it's done right now. All you need is what you're going to see here. You'll need is two dollar, uh, two dollars, two gold dollars, and a special shot glass. This here is a divided shot glass. What you want to do is start with one dollar into one section that you'll see just right here. What you're going to do is you're going to twist this and hide this like this. That way, this is not get exposed like this. That way, it looks like a full shot glass. So that one dollar can take us out of your pocket and present it. Pass it around to your dad. Place it in the shot glass like this and rotate this in. This will provide the covering for the other one in the back of this section there. Okay, so now here, you do this and fast. Like that. Make sure that you do not turn around there to expose the second the second one. I'll show you again. From here. Like that. And then with your other hand like this, we'll hide the other one from being exposed. That way, your dad only gets to see this. That one dollar in the inside of this rock glass. Gonna do is gonna hold this, give this a tap, and then by magic, it'll give two others from the shot glass. So here, and fast, it'll look like this. Okay, here, like that. And then from there, I'm going to pass the two do uh, dollars out for further inspection. And with the uh, trick shot glass, you're going to put this into your lap and swap it and place up one similar to this that does not have the divider into it. And that too could be um, looked at. And that right there is how you do the magic Father's Day one coin, uh, one coin shot glass magic trick. Then now that brings us down to our sixth one, and that is the Happy Father's Day magic bill cards magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Okay, so Dad, if you want to like pick any card from the deck. One to eight. Okay, so here's your card. Let me take just any card from the deck myself. How about we could take this one here? What you're gonna do is do, I'm gonna actually now is take your card here. And now it's just to place this into my hand. And take the rest away. Okay, now I'm going to take my card. I'm going to slip this in here as well, too. Okay, I'm going to hold these cards here. And just give them a rub. No? Okay. Watch this. That magic, I get a bill from the cards. A twenty-dollar bill. How do I do this one? I'm about to reveal the secret. 
all you need is a bill from your local right currency. And for this, you'll need is just one plain deck of cards. A bicycle deck that you'll see just right here. What you want to do to build first is fold it up and place into your hand just like this. And place the, the uh, cards on top like this. And make a nice beautiful card fan that you'll see here. Then have your dad select any card from the deck. So let's say he picked the eight of diamonds that you'll see right here. You're going to place that aside. Now I'm going to make your selection. That way there's two cards involved. Say, so let's say you picked the four of clubs. What you want to do here is you're going to fold the uh, deck up like this. You're going to place your card under like this and palm the bill like that. Take his card and slip it in like this. Making sure the bill does not get exposed. Provide pressure. And you're going to now is just move the cards like this. Very slowly. And just let the pressure go. Make sure that it does not pop out like that on the sides. And then, by magic, a bill gets produced by two cards. After it's done, unfold the uh, bill and show 20 or 50 or whatever bill you have that got magically produced by two playing cards and one being your dad's selected card. And that right there is how you do the Happy Father's Day magic bi uh, bill cards magic trick. Then there, that brings us right down to our seventh one, and that is the magic one small Rubik's bomb cup magic trick. Here is the performance of what this one will look like. Okay, so you see, I got my one cup here, and I got a small Rubik's cube that you'll see just right here. The smallest Rubik's cube in history. Okay, so you guys, you guys can see your magic trick come come up completely bare. Now it's going to seduce, it's going to actually just get my lighter and get a light and I'm going to actually use it to actually get the magic into it. Okay. Now if I just take this and place this into my hand just like this, watch. And by magic, what comes out of it happens to be dice. From the small Rubik's Cube. How I do this one? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is just a few simple things. A small Rubik's Cube that looks just like this. And three or more dice. Red or white that you'll see just here. This one here happens to have red with white numbers onto it. What you'll need is a glass cup or a plastic glass cup that looks just like this. This is like a, uh, a party cup that you'll see here. Like that. Okay, next what you'll need is to prime up that magic is your one lighter that you'll see right here. What you want to do is going to put this into your lap and place your dice into your lap as well too. All that you have on the table is the cup and that one small Rubik's Cube that you'll see just right here. Okay, so here is what to do. First, pass this around to your dad for 
saw their inspection. Okay, what you're gonna do here is gonna show you how it's completely empty. You're now is gonna go cut through your lighter, same time as you grab the dice. Be quick. Take your lighter and turn it on and just move it over the Rubik's Cube. Get that magic built inside. Take this, place it into your fist. He will not know, know that these are in your hand because you're going to create a fist like this. So these Rubik's Cube goes in, place the hand over, and with force, let them fall into the cup with a hand like this. That way it creates the bomb in the cup. So again, I will show you. Place it in. Hold. Come. Like that. And by magic, what expels from that one small Rubik's Cube is three or more dice that mysteriously came from it. Once it's done, tip the cup and just let the Rubik's Cube roll out and fall by rolling out the dice from the cup. Makes a deep master trick that you could do and pull off on Father's Day for your dad. He'll be like, how did you do that? Now you know, the stick it behind you that we can pull off to your dad on Father's Day. Things that you need to get. Plastic cup, a lighter, three or more dice, and of course the star of it, the one small Rubik's Cube that you'll see just right here. So go have fun with it, and um, tell, me, and tell me what you think of that in the comment box, please. And don't forget to also put in there what you or what your results are as well. So have fun, and don't forget to hug your your. your your dads and tell them I love you. And now we're gonna get to our last trick, bringing us up to our eighth trick up. This one here goes into the flashlight of Father's Day. And here you're going to take a, a light that is completely turned off and magically bring it to light. Here is what this one will look like. Okay, so you can, you can see this here? Watch. And by magic, I bring light to a fl the flashlight without having to use this. And just by using magic to turn on the light. And now you got power to turn on the light. So how did I do that one? This is, I'm going to reveal the secret to you right now. It is very easy and very quick to do. All you need are just two simple things for this one. Okay, so here are things that, that you'll need to get. One, the star, the flashlight. I will power it up one that looks like this. Okay, to make it that there's no light, here's what you're going to need to make it there that there is no light. That's what you'll see here. It is block construction paper, a pen, and some scissors. What you want to do here is it going to place your flashlight onto your your black sheet construction paper, just like this. And with your pen 
or marker is it going to trace your flashlight to get the round circle like that okay so now that you got that that you'll see just right here hope you can see the line I'll bring it up to the camera so here you can see the line just it hits a hair a circle what you want to do is take your it your scissors and cut into a square first. And then from here, is it going to is follow along the um, line of the circle and give it a cut. Be slow at it. Just like that. And just give it a little trim. That way it stays nice and flush. This will allow to block the light from the flashlight. Okay, so once you you, you got that, you're, you're good to go. Okay, now is in prep. Turn it on your light just like this. And then place this over it. This will kill the light and make it look like that the, the flashlight is not turned on. That you'll see this right here. What you want to do is you're gonna hold it like just like just nice and natural like this. Make sure no light is exposed. A little bit of pressure so that way it stays into it, so that the light does not come out. Because here, if you, if you go like this, all right, well, so, from here, it looks like it's completely, t like, not even turned on. What you want to do is use your palm, drop it in into here, and move the, the flashlight away like this, just like that, to give the turn on look. Here, now, will stay into your hand in retention mode. You're going to drop this into your lap and so your hands completely clean and empty. Or you can ditch that little thing right directly into your pocket. So it looks just like this. Hold and by magic turn on the light. From there. Watch your dad be completely stunned and surprised to see just a flashlight or one that was that you and turned on and by hand magically put a light to it. So go have fun with it and impress your dad with the magic flashlight. You can find these flashlights in your local hardware store. And you can also find is your uh, construction paper in your local craft section where they sell the um, the construction paper in full. As well as a pen from your your house or home, or if you don't have one, mostly you guys have uh, pens. But if you don't, you can go pick one up at your local stationery store. And next you'll need is your scissors. You can also get these in your stationery store or if you have it at home, then you're good to go. And so with all those right there, you can make yourself a really cool flashlight magic trick. Item count! One, two, three, four. Four items for this very amazing, stunning magic trick. 
And as you hear in the background, we have got some beautiful rock and roll music for this Father's Day video. So tell me what you think of the rock and roll music that you hear in the background. And don't forget to uh, try out those tricks and impress your, your dad with these amazing tricks, pranks, gags, and magic. Perfect for on the day of Father's Day. And now for ending this video off, I'll greet you out to the great outdoors. I'll see you out there in just a few seconds. Okay, so that is the end of part one. Coming up, we got part two. So thank you again so much for watching part one. It's been a pleasure bringing you these videos and sharing them with you. With very cool trick content. And that's that. Here I got lots more um, uh, trick videos here on my channel from Halloween and a whole bunch more. Don't forget to check them out too. And now, here I'm signing this uh, video off. So have fun, and uh, wishing you all the best on Father's Day. This is from yours truly, your trick show host of these amazing trick videos, Reese and Ivo. I'll see you back for our main event coming in July, which will be our Canada Day tricks video, so stay tuned for that one. Stop for now, and I'll see you then. Peace.